Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I want to apologize for not having sent a message out last week or uploading an oracle card guidance. I had uh, difficulties with my devices and with my internet connection and I just couldn't spare the time needed to be able to fix all of that. However, I'm back with you this week and I am um, using the Soul Cards Weekly Oracle Card Guidance. And it is a little bit grainy, unfortunately, because uh, the sun is set and I have a problem with electricity at the moment. Uh, so yeah, it's just lots of mercury retrograde issues, so please bear with that. And I'm still going to go ahead and do the reading. I'd like you to please go ahead, uh, choose options one, two, or three, and uh, we'll get started. So for those of you who have chosen the first option, we are asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance this week? What is our weekly oracle card guidance? And we have this. Okay, so for those of you who have chosen the option number one, we have this card here. And I feel here that as we go along in this week, there's going to be many... Um, kind of um, things that grab our attention or try to get our attention for a longer period of time. Some things or people's opinions or people trying to own our, our, our space, you know, own our thought space, if you want to call it that. So it's almost as if as we go ahead this week, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to try to rent space, as one would say, in in your brain or in, in your mind and to be able to occupy you with their own opinions to be able to occupy you with their direction to be able to occupy you in in some kind of way and so i feel like as you go along in this week it's important to ensure that you are not being occupied in this way or you're not being uh, owned in this way you're not being um you know just kind of taken over so it's important to understand what is your opinion, what is your feeling, what does your intuition tell you, what do your what does your rational thought tell you, what does your logic say to you, and and to be able to hold on to that because what you might find is that there's a lot of other thoughts that are creeping in and taking over, and that may be as mentioned uh, coming in from other people trying to convince you of a particular path or trying to convince you of a particular route. And uh, here you need to hold steadfast to what it is that you deem necessary and what you know is to be true. I think also here, uh, this can represent not just people trying to convince you of things, but uh, media, for instance, trying to convince you, society trying to sway you, put you in a different direction. And it's once again important to be able to hold steadfast to what it is that you know is truth or what it is that you know to be. And to search for yourself within for answers within. Like if you're not certain about what it is, if you're not clear about what it is, then uh, then it's important to, to think about it or to give that space, leave that space in your mind to consider, to argue with yourself, to to debate with yourself, to understand what it is that is what it is that is your truth or what it is that resonates with you and uh, this could also be concerns that one might have concerns about um, many different things it could be that you're occupied by many different concerns or worries that you have uh, an inability to concentrate on what it is that you need to concentrate on it might be that you are stressed about something or it might be that you are finding it generally difficult to just settle your mind, uh, to meditate, to bring yourself back to you. I feel here as well that, um, you know, you could be involved in some kind of activity which allows forces that are not seen to be occupying your mind. So if you've been trying to do some kind of ancestral work or kind of trying to do some kind of reaching out to passed away spirits or uh, beings or if you've just been working uh, on a in a in a level or in a energetic highway so to say that involves other beings 
uh, other beings who might have their own opinions, other beings that may might have their own agenda, then this is a time to be aware of that and not to necessarily be extracted um, from your own agenda, but to be able to discern what is their agenda and what is your agenda, what is supposedly the right way and what is your way and and is there a differentiation between the two so i think that it, it really comes down to just being able to claim your mind for yourself and to be able to clear that space and to be able to hear what it is that you need to hear and not necessarily from an energetic highway that is not resonant with you or not necessarily or resonant with a higher truth um yeah so I think that that is the basic message here. I feel also that you could be really weighed down or feeling down or feeling uh, depressed. So these, um, these, this thing that's claiming you or, or taking a hold of you could also be something that is really um, dependent on your, your brain, brain chemistry. So it, it could be it could be something like depression or something where you just don't have the control that you need to in your life, in your thoughts, in your in daily matters, in being able to regulate your life, in being able to discipline yourself, etc. So I feel here that that is also something that uh, can be looked at and can be um, it needs to be attended to in some way. I think also here, you know, obviously, if you if it is something like clinical, like a depression or something like this, it's not going to have just started up, you know, for this week. But it might be that one is more kind of drawn to being maybe a bit depressed this week or being occupied by your own concerns or being concerned about satisfying others or pleasing others or being, you know, trying to understand how you can have your own way and also try to please others or try to make sure that everything works. Yeah, I feel that it's um, really an important time, you know, just to clear your mind. The guidance here is to be able to clear your mind and to hear what it is that you need, what is right for you in this matter, okay? And if it's right for you, then it's going to be right for others ultimately as well. If you are torn between doing the right thing for others and, um, you know, but it's not, you feel like it's not going to be good for you. It's not really the right thing for others either. It might seem to be the right thing for others, or it might appear that um, the others will be satisfied or it'd be easier to um, to calm them by doing what it is that they need. But it's not necessarily uh, good for you. And in this case, it's ultimately the long term, in the long term, it won't be good for them. And so just think about what it is that is good for you and how is it that you can bring peace to yourself at this stage. Uh, and that is the the, the advice that, uh, that I will, I'd like to give you here for this week. I wish you a very good week ahead um, as you go along and um, please stay safe and healthy and well and free <laughs> and um, be blessed. Much love to you all. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we're asking, what is the weekly oracle guidance this week? What is your weekly oracle guidance? What is it that I've come here to hear? What is going to help me as I go along in the next week? So here there's a feeling of... Um, divinity. There's a feeling of recognizing your divinity, understanding how special you are, understanding how divine you are, understanding how connected you are to the divine and that you are divine, that your divinity resides within you and that you cannot be anything but divine. There's a feeling here that, you know, that, that what they're trying to get across to you is that you're not separate from the divine. You're not, you not, don't have to appeal to another power or to something else outside of you to be able to understand your power or what it is that is possible or how it is that you need to be or how it is that you need to live. So the feeling that I'm getting here is that there are, it's almost like there's a, there's a guidance here that's saying, listen, 
Listen to who you are. Understand who you are. Take time to understand who you truly are. And then you'll understand your divinity. And when you understand your own divinity, then you'll know what divinity really is. And there's another message here that says, well, only the length and breadth of your own divinity defines divinity as it is. Because you can only experiment or work with or play with what you know and what it is that is within your consciousness or what is uh, within your consciousness and under the ceiling of your understanding. So if you were to expand that understanding, then you'd be able to access more power and more understanding of your divinity as well and be able to work with it in a way. Because what they're showing me here is what you need to do is simply understand who you are. Right? You need to understand who you are as a divine being. And once you've done that, then you've understood your power. And once you've understood your power, then you understand that you can work in a way that is much faster and much easier. And that there's nothing really stopping you um, from your goals or from what it is that you're hoping to achieve or what it is that you desire. Because you are one with your manifestation, and you are one with your divinity. So the other thing I'm hearing here is that you are the sum of your own uh, definition of yourself. So you're the sum of your your definition of yourself. You're the one who's stopping yourself from actually getting f further. All the blockages, all the obstacles that lie before you are those that are created from you, from your own fear, from your own lack of trust, from your own inability to surrender to yourself and your own divinity, okay? And so this light that is within this being here in this, in this, um, in this photo, in the, of this, um, in the video, <laughs> in the card is what I mean, is basically, she's, she's radiating this light, okay? And this light is occupying her. And in that way, they're saying, well, this light needs to occupy you. It needs to take care. It needs to take over you. It needs to be all of you. Your divinity needs to be all of you, not just at your altar, not just in your mind, not just under your breath, but all of you. You need to be walking your divinity, eating your divinity, breathing your divinity. This is all that you need to be. And they are saying, well, it doesn't rec require ritual or or prayer necessarily, but what it requires is simply being, being your divine self, because that is the only self that you are. And when you recognize that, that's when you can move ahead. I feel here as well that there's a level of protection um, in the same way that the Earth's atmosphere protects the Earth. Um, it feels like, you know, nothing can, can touch you, nothing outside of of this field of this energy force can actually come in and hurt you especially not while you're trying you're exploring more about your divinity not until you're learning more about yourself and your divine self because you've been given the space right now to be able to work with that and to develop that further and now is the best time for you to to be able to hone in on that and so I feel that during this time, the message here is that you'll be protected. There's nothing in, that's going to come and knock you over while you are developing yourself, while you're working with yourself. And so you have a brief moment of where you have this, this protection as you work with yourself. I feel here as well that there's so much more that's waiting to be downloaded in your consciousness, in your understanding. Uh, of what is divinity and that it's just kind of waiting at the doors waiting to come in and waiting patiently but getting impatient in a sense because it's it needs to happen um right and so but at the same time it's not there's nothing there's nothing um negative about that you know if there's nothing it's not an energy okay of you know you're late get going it's not that kind of energy it's more like we're here, we're waiting to come in. This energy, this information is waiting to come through to you. So can, we'd like it if you would hurry up and just allow us in so that you could experience a greater a sense of connection to your divinity 
and um so you could expand your consciousness so this card feels very much about using this time ahead in this week for you to be able to explore your your own divinity expand your consciousness being able to allow that process to take place and being able to trust that all will be okay as you go ahead and as you do that and and also to understand that the way in which um well the message i'm getting here is that the new age stuff the esoteric stuff is a distraction it's a distraction from getting to where you need to be with with yourself you don't need anything you don't need any divine tools you don't need any cards you don't need any form of help from outside of you to be able to recognize your divinity and so this is something that it requires inward work and there's a sense here that people are afraid to go inward they're afraid to sit with themselves for a moment but they've also been coerced not to do that so the energy or, or the way in which we've been conditioned is to look outside of ourselves for information for wealth for um well-being for for um allowance to be okay and it's somehow what i'm what i'm seeing here what i'm hearing here is that you need to to simply go inward and once you begin that inward journey it's infinite and there's no stopping you and there's none of the restrictions that you encounter on the outside of you so simply go inward and start exploring because you have all of that all right so that's the message for you for this week it's quite an interesting message actually um it's quite different from some of the other messages that i've been delivering recently uh so i wish you well and uh yeah i wish that i hope that you have a nice time exploring your divinity as this card suggests that you do i wish you um a blessed week ahead and please stay safe and stay happy all right lots of love to you all so for those of you who've uh, chosen the third option here, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is it that I need to hear right now for this week? What is the advice that I need right now to be able to go ahead? And we have this. So the sense I get with this option is that you've been through some difficulty. Uh, it could be in a way that you might have been mourning something or grieving something or just having some kind of issue where you went as pleased with the situation as you wanted to be. And what's come of that is that you have a particular idea of how the world is as a result of that. So it's shaped you. It's defined you. It's it's kind of altered you, actually. It doesn't define you completely, but it alters you. And the problem with this is that it seems to have taken away some of your blessings, some of your abundance, some of your well-being. It's taken away some of your joy. It's taken away some of the possibilities that exist for you and how you can go ahead with it. So it's saying, and this card is telling me that, well, one of the things that it's saying is that if you clear, in this week, if you clear away some of the belief systems that you have, if you examine some of the belief systems that you had and see where it's come from and see how you've come to that way, how you've come to that space in your life, and you identify that and you are able to work through that and discard anything that's not useful for you any longer, then you're going to be able to feel much lighter and find that things come your way much easier than they've done before. And sometimes it's difficult to do that because, you know, you've lived with something. It becomes your kind of defense mechanism. It becomes your way of being and it works for you, you know. And so it's difficult to actually let go of those things. And even more difficult is to be able to identify that. Like, how do you go about identifying that? And what I found is that there are particular periods in one's life when one is more aligned towards being able to identify those things or to be able to work towards those things. And what I see right now is that this is one of those times where you're able to work with that. You're able to easily discard of it. You're you, easily able to identify the beliefs which are holding you back which are defining you improperly and you're able to let go of it and develop new beliefs or adopt new beliefs to be able to go ahead in your life at this stage of your life. So you're able to chart a new path as it were, set a new course and go on that because that is actually going to help you get to where you need to be next.
And it's also going to help you be able to, it's going to help you benefit more from the existence that you have and more from the qualities that you hold and more, um, just cherish and enrich yourself more with your soul and what your soul has to offer you. So there's another meaning here as well, and it could be that as you go ahead in this week, you need to actually be really careful about what you say uh, and what and how you, because what you say might be perceived uh, in another way. And so, and you might feel quite bad about what you say. You might feel quite embarrassed or wish you'd taken those words back, or you might be re regretful of, of what has happened uh, or the incident that took place in which you said something. So I think that um, it, this is a week in which it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to just watch what you say or just think a little bit more before you speak. It's also, it also could be that you say something because you've been hurt and you, you say it quite quickly and, um, and then you realize afterward that it was because you were hurt that you said that and it wasn't really meant to be. So I would say just, you know, on a practical level and a day-to-day -day level, be aware of what you're saying and, and, and just think a little bit more about it before you say it. Now, there's another thing here. It's like there's another message here. It feels like there's a lot waiting to come in, a lot waiting to be a part of your life. And that you've, it's almost like you haven't chosen to let it be come into your life. It's almost like you've chosen to not let it be a part of your existence. It's like you could uh, allow goodness to come in your life, but you need to be open to that. You could allow a lot of goodness to come in your life. You could allow your life to change in dramatic ways for the better and for high vi vi a higher vibration and for more happiness and lightness. But it's almost as if you've chosen now to live with this because this is how you've understood life to be. And so there's a feeling here of removing that. Now, this may not always have been the case. It might just be that you're under a cloud, under a cloak of that kind of thinking at the moment because of certain events, etc., that led you to the space. But this is a time, this is a week in which you can just release that and it'll be easy for you to release that. So th think about what it is that you would like from your life. Think about what it is that you desire from your life. And I'm hearing that uh, it's been like this, and this has been the energy for the last couple of weeks. So this is still a time where you can just release things with more ease um, in order for you to be able to make newer decisions for yourself, make a uh, chart a different path for your life, go in a different direction. But you need to believe that it's possible. You need to be able to understand that you can have this. And if you have such restrictions, such as um, responsibilities, uh, decisions that you need to make uh, with regard to other people, care for other people, um, having to look after other people financially, then you might not. It might not be so easy for you to be able to make these decisions. But that it's in itself might be blocking you from even dreaming about how good it can be. Because what I'm seeing here is that there's a way for things to happen. There's a way for this lightness to meet you. There's a way for you to have what it is that you need to do as well as what you would desire to, to, to do and where it is that you desire to be. And all you need to do is allow yourself, give yourself the permission to dream about it because once you've done that, you're going to be able to make quite a lot of headway with that. And you're going to see that opportunities come up that look after all, all the areas of your life. It's not just that if you wish for something, you dream for something, that the other things are going to be neglected. You can actually have it all. You can have your cake and eat it too. All right. So um, this is something where it talks about, you know, releasing the, um, the sadness, the sorrow in your life, releasing that, releasing any feelings of regret and shame and, and wishing that you hadn't done that or wishing that you hadn't said that. And, and just allowing goodness to come your way and not, not keeping yourself in a cloud of sadness and um, maybe even self-pity in some instances because of events of the past and just allowing yourself to release that because what it's doing is it's draining your life force and it's making you sick. It's making you sick, not just energetically, but also you know physically um, um, in your mind as well. So I feel like you need to actually just 
work away with that this week. Use this opportunity to release whatever it is that's having you, that's keeping you prison, a prisoner of yourself. And and then just be free and have the courage to walk a new path. Have the courage to be bold enough to accept a new reality. Because that's not always easy. Sometimes it's easier to stay a part of your whole existence, a part to be with what it is that you know. You know, better the devil you know than the devil you don't is the saying. And sometimes it's just easier to do that. So in this case, it's almost like you need to just explore something new, allow yourself to explore something new because there's greater things that await you, really exciting, really fun things that await you beyond your your wildest belief, beyond your what you've imagined to be. And here is an opportunity for you to take that and to be able to do it. It's almost like a portal that's opened for you to do that. And I wonder if that ha has to do with any of these eclipses that we've had recently. I feel like it might be. So I feel like now is an opportunity to just work through that or walk through that rather, come out the other end, and then you can figure out what needs to happen. You don't need to think too far in the future at this moment. It is okay to just go through this uh, with your eyes closed and allow yourself to go through it because I feel like it's the fear that keeps you trapped at this moment, all right? And uh, I think that's your message for this week. I'm going to leave with you, you with that. Good luck as you go along in this week and I hope that you are able to stay safe and healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.